What's going on guys? Baylor Hunstead here, back with another video. So we're doing a back and biceps workout today, and uh, I'm gonna kind of talk through it, get a little bit more personal, a little more raw, but uh, we're starting out with lat pull downs, wide grip. Main thing to keep in mind here is to keep scapula retracted. Don't let your shoulders go at the top of the movement. It'll help place more tension on your lats. Slow, control movements, just like always. So I'm gonna do the first set real quick for you. So next movement is bent over barbell row. And one thing that I'm changing up this time is I'm just dropping the weight a little bit and I'm gonna be really just zeroing in on perfect form. I wanna keep my core tight and just really pull through the rhomboids and the shoulder blade muscles as this is what I'm gonna be trying to target throughout this movement. So watch and observe. Wide base of support, lean over, back to the retracted. Alright, next movement is a hammer strength lap pull down. This is like a decline angle, I'm sure you've seen these before. But um, using lighter weight, gonna go for a little bit higher reps. So we're gonna do 14, 13, 12, and then 11 reps. So that's what we're gonna be doing. One arm at a time, time under tension, slow rep. And I like to go for a hook grip right here. So you can grip it like this, but I feel like that involves your forearms too much. So I go for more something just like that. I'm just barely holding on. So extend all the way up, down. Pull back down as you go through the bottom of the gym. So I'm kind of twisting down. And obviously other arm too, so. Decline, hammer strength, lap pull downs. So for the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a superset for back and we're gonna be doing three different movements to target each area of the back. Um, well, technically shoulders, but we're starting with the rear, or uh, rope face pull to target the rear delts. And um, for the longest time, I had a lot of trouble contracting my rear delts properly through this movement. And so what I'd recommend is a lot of people are pulling the weight like this and they're keeping their elbows down. What I would recommend is to pull through and up. So keep your wrists above your elbows and pull back. Squeeze your shoulders together and I guarantee you'll feel it in your rear delts a lot better. Next thing is we're gonna be doing a good old fashioned bench or a seated cable row. I cannot speak to it. Um, main thing to keep in mind here Scapula retracted. We're gonna lean forward a little bit, but we're still gonna keep tension on our lats. Just pull back. And so about 12 reps, 10 to 12 reps here, about 15 to 20 reps on the rope face pulls. And then lastly, to hit our scapula once again, we're gonna be doing scapular cable pulls. And I've done these before, but I was doing them kneeling. So what we're gonna be doing this time, is we're gonna be starting here. And as you can show them what I'm doing back here is I'm retracting my scapula back. So my back's tight. Keeping my elbow straight and pulling down. See that? Keeping the shoulder blade tight and just pulling down through like you're, you have a lightsaber and you're slashing something away. Obi-Wan versus Anakin. So that's the superset. Um, about, yeah, I have 15 to 20 reps here. Lighter weight, full contractions, that's a superset. All right, first actual bicep movement is a preacher curl machine with free weight. And so we're starting with 25 pounds as you saw, and we're gonna be adding five pounds each time. We're gonna be doing a pyramid set, so we're gonna go up for like four sets or so, 
and then go back down. A lot of, get a lot of volume out of the way first. Really just feel a squeeze on this one. So starting with 15 reps. So, second to last bicep, we're only doing three bicep workouts, but second bicep workout is a rope hammer curl. And what we're doing here is we're gonna be doing two exercises within one movement. So, what we're gonna be doing is taking the rope and we're gonna lean back and pull up this way. So, decline hammer curls and we're gonna do you know, about 12 to 15 of those. Come in to a complete vertical angle and just pull straight up like that. Um, similar rep range, maybe like one less than the other one because your biceps should be fatigued, but second to last bicep rope hammer throws. All right, and one quick thing. Come here. Just let you guys know, like this is almost correct. Almost correct, like you guys, Almost got it. But uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just, just uh, use a little bit more energy and just slide it in right like that. Just like you slide in the DMs, just right there. It's not that hard. <laughs> I know that like all these rep schemes and stuff probably haven't made sense at all this workout, but um, it's important to just change things up, you know? There's a lot of like, encouragement to stay within the 10 to 12 rep range, you know? But uh, it's important to just kind of change it up every once in a while. No one training style is correct um, across the board. So anyway, all that aside, what we're gonna be doing to finish the workout is double down curls. I've done these before. But the basic idea is that one rep is a full bicep curl. You go down to halfway, back up, and down. So it's, it's accentuating the eccentric part of the motion. And so um, what we're gonna be doing is a triple drop set. We're gonna be starting at 25s, doing 10 reps here. Then we're gonna go to 22s and a half, we're gonna do 11 reps here, and then 20s with 12 reps. So by the end of this, we're gonna be burning. Um, I encourage you to end your biceps with some kind of burnout set like this. I highly, highly recommend it. All right guys, that's gonna be the video. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I will get back to everyone. And also a big thanks to Cooper. It's a privilege to have him out here in San Luis Obispo to help me film. But that's gonna be it guys. Make sure you leave a like on the video, it really helps me a lot. And subscribe if you're not already. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.